Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Tesla Family Travels. This is just gonna be a quick tutorial on showing you how to use the new boombox feature and add in custom sounds. The uh, system does allow you to add in five custom sounds, but there's really no instructions on how to do it. And if you follow the instructions literally by placing sounds into a folder, uh, and if you use your Tesla Sentry Drive, it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna go through real quick how we, I was managed to get this thing to work. Uh, so basically what you have to do is you have to take the drive, if you're gonna use your Tesla Sentry Drive, which is what I'm doing here, and partition it into two different partitions to get it to work. So uh, just to set it up, I've got a folder here on my desktop called Boombox, and I have three custom sounds in here. These are the sounds that I want to add. And then I also have a folder here for Tesla Cam. So this is uh, the Tesla videos that I've copied off of the drive that was already existing. Make sure that if you want to keep any of the information off that drive that you copy it off that drive first because you will need to delete the information to get this to work. Um, so uh, insert your Tesla Sentry drive into your uh, Windows machine here. You're going to right click on the start button and you're going to go to disk management. And what we're going to do is we're going to highlight uh, the disk management right here, the Tesla Cam drive that I have uh, installed here. You'll see that it's one single partition. And basically what we have to do is delete this and create two partitions of the drive. So I'm going to right click on this down here at the, the bottom and say uh, delete volume. So that is going to delete the data that's on there. Remember, if you want to keep the data off the drive, make sure to copy it onto your machine first. Um, so now that that's deleted, we have this big unallocated space and we're going to create two different partitions here to get this to work. So the first partition we're going to do, we're going to uh, right click on it again and say new simple volume. We're going to choose this. It's going to bring up the wizard. Uh, the first volume we're going to create is going to be for the test the cam. Um, so we want obviously the most amount of space on that drive. We only need about 100 megs for the uh, boom box because the sounds don't take up a lot of space. So what I did was I just took this number and uh, backed it down by 100. So instead of uh, 751 I change it to 651 so this is going to be a nice big partition for the uh, videos that the uh, Sentry Drive is going to use uh, we're going to click next here and then we're going to make sure that we select the EX fat option okay uh, volume name we want to make sure that it's called Tesla cam so the car recognizes it so we'll type that in we'll click next and it's going to format this for first partition as the Tesla cam uh, drive so you'll see that we need to format this disk first. So we'll go ahead and format it. We'll call it Tesla Cam again. And we'll click next or start. Format is complete. Okay, so now we've got that partition drive all set up and ready to go. Uh, now we have this other uh, unformatted space here. This is the second partition and what we're going to use for the boom box. Okay, we're going to right click on this space right here. We're going to say new simple volume. We're going to bring back up the wizard. We're going to click next. And then we're going to use this unallocated space, this 100 megs that I had left over from before. We're going to click next. And we're going to, again, select uh, FAT32 as the, uh, FAT32 as the uh, file system here. Now this uh, we're going to call Boombox as what's required by the system. We're going to click next. And we're going to click finish. Now we've got our boombox drive ready to go. Uh, so the next step and the last step is to just bring, make sure to bring those two folders over so that it works properly. So we're gonna go into the file explorer. So right click down at the bottom, bring the file explorer. You'll see the drives uh, down here at the bottom. You'll see Tesla cam and then a boombox. So on the Tesla cam, let's drag that Tesla cam folder over. So now that folder is ready to uh, be inserted into your car. And then for the boombox, we'll drag the boombox over. And you'll see I've already preloaded these with my three sounds that I want. So those are ready to go. So we're all set. Let's take this drive down, plug it into the car, and see what happens. Okay, now that we've partitioned the drive out properly, all we're going to do is we're going to take the USB key. We're going to plug it back into the car here. And we're going to let it uh, load up here. You'll see that uh, the dash cam will turn red up in the top right as soon as it pops in. There we go. So we have the dash cam drive uh, loaded up. Now we also have that boom box drive. So if we go through here, we should be able to click through and uh, click down and see at the bottom, you'll see the USB and then the, uh, the three options that we have down there. Um, so you'll see if we select this and preview it, you should be able to hear. The driving sound. All right, 
in case we get pulled over. All right, I'm going to stop that so we don't get a copyright strike. And then, of course, someone's taking too long to get out of the parking spot. Uh, you guys get the idea. Hopefully, this uh, tutorial was helpful. If you got anything out of it, please like, share, subscribe this video. If you have any questions, drop them down below, and we'll try and get them answered. Other than that, thank you very much, and have a great day, everyone.